Hello, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this video out. You know, sometimes life just gets in the way. But in the future, I'm gonna simplify things and hopefully I'll be able to get these videos out to you sooner and be able to make more in-depth tutorials. Now on with this dress, I named it Sarah after the model who wore it and it's made out of scuba and it's got these pin tuck details. Let's get started. Okay, so a quick little update. I ended up entering the Fashion Awards Australia competition and got third place for race wear. Uh, so this was completely unexpected. It was my first time entering this competition and I really didn't know what to expect or what the judges were looking for. Uh, so this was a really nice surprise. I entered a variation on the Julia dress, which if you haven't seen the video, I'll link that down below in the description box. But anyway, let's go and continue with this video. So we're starting off with a simple front panel for a seamless cup bodice. We're cutting one of that. Then the side back panel and we're cutting a pair and I wrote two, but it's actually a pair. The bust cup, the top section has the pin tuck details. And again, a pair of those. The shoulder straps are split into front and back. The front has a minor curve to it where the back is a more heavy curve that bends into the front strap. The skirt is a simple circle skirt and I'm splitting that into five pieces. Because I'm doing a train, I'm extending the back. And now I'm just adding the shape for the flounce-like details. Now, these are only for the main fabric. For this dress, we'll need to cut the lining and the interlining as well, but the pattern will be pretty much the same. We're starting off by cutting some violin for the top part of the corset. Violin is a non-woven, non-fusible stabilizer, and that's to stop the top from stretching. Next up, I'm making the breast cup from a piece of bonded foam and then sewing the cups together with a cover stitch machine. So the reason why I'm using a cover stitch machine is that I'm butting both ends. I'm not sewing them so they overlap. Uh, that's why I need the stitch to be on both sides and for them to stay together. So at this stage, I've cut out the main fabric the lining, the interlining and the fusing. I've fused the lining and I've also mounted the main fabric with the interlining. Right now I am sewing the violin onto the top of the lining and afterwards I'll be sewing the burning in there as well. I'm just trying on the garment now because I'm concerned the burning will show through the scuba material. And it does. To combat this, I'm inserting a layer of wadding in between the lining and the main fabric. And this will soften the burning showing through the main fabric. Back to the breast cup. I'm sewing the pin tuck details into the top section of the cup. It's just a matter of folding the fabric and then sewing really thin lines. And remember to make sure that both sides are even. Finishing off the breast cup here, I've sewn the main fabric to the lining and then I'm sandwiching that in between the foam cups. Pinning and then tacking the ends down so everything stays in place. Now I've already joined the main fabric and the lining of the bodice together. Now I'm sewing the breast cup onto the bodice. That's how it's looking so far. 
The shoulder straps are basically the same pink duck details that I did for the breast cup. And now I'm just pinning the strap into place. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'll hand sew that down. Afterwards, machine sew the front and back together. And we're almost done. All that's left is to sew the bodice to the skirt and then sew in the zipper. And there you go. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. I read all your comments and subscribe because I'll be going through some changes in this channel. I'll be making some more in-depth tutorials like what you have been asking. So I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.